she was sitting on a stool in a little bar called the Seldom Scene. When I walked over and said hi and introduced myself. And what's your name, I asked. She just smiled. She was wearing a tiny gold chain with the initials SS on the front. And I said, wait a minute, let me guess. You are Susie Smith. She shook her head. Okay, you're Sally Simpson. Sarah. And before I could finish, she put her hand on mine and said, look, it's not important. And I said, okay. I'll just call you Double S. And she nodded. And I said, what are you drinking, Double S? She said, scotch and soda. And I said, okay, Miss Double S, one scotch and soda. Coming up. You live around here, I asked. No, she said, just killing time till morning. I've got an early plane back to California. I live near San Simeon. Oh, and you'll be flying on a 707, no doubt, I said. How did you know, she asked. Oh, I guess I'm just super smart. You gonna spend the rest of the night here in this bar, Double S? No, she said, I have a motel room. I'm at the surf and sand. Can I give you a lift? Thanks, I rented a car, but I don't drive it too well, she answered. It's a stick ship. <laughs> Double S, you are something special, I said. And I paid the tab and we walked out into the cool evening breeze. slid across the seat and snuggled up close to my side and I began to run my fingers through her hair. It was soft and silky. I opened the door to her room. My lips found her lips and I held her close and I whispered, you are a super sexy lady. She simply smiled and I could feel her body slowly soften as her sensuous soul swiftly swept me into sublime serenity. Her plane left just as the morning sun began to softly streak the starry sky. She kissed me a soft sayonara, waved a sultry so long from the window, and I never saw Double S again. Right now, she's soaring somewhere above the clouds, and I'm walking home on one. I just realized I never did find out what Double S stood for.